Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make healthy snacks. I'm craving sugar right now, so I really had to get creative and make sure that I do get some good stuff at least while I eat my sugar. I am gonna show you three recipes. Two of them are gonna be sweet and one savory and that's it. Okay, let's get to the first recipe. I'm making these froyo cups that are super easy and filled with a lot of goodness. Uh, part of my recipe is using Activia. I was actually doing the Activia challenge. If you wanna hear more about it, you can watch the what I eat in a day that I'm gonna link here. Here, here, here. I took the Activia challenge. It's a two week challenge where you eat two Activias a day. So I wanted to see if there's any effects on my gut health. Activia has a probiotic in it. So it's kind of a easy way to incorporate probiotics into your system. I really like the plain one and I actually found that it was very easy to incorporate with different things like smoothies or this recipe that I'm gonna show you. I think taking the challenge was a really great way to start being more mindful about choices that you make with food. So I recommend you guys, I chose five people to participate with me in the challenge and on my Facebook page, I'm gonna post an album with all their experience and how they felt after the challenge challenge and you guys can check it out. I wanted to say thanks to Activia for making me their partner for this two-week Activia challenge and the first recipe we will start with lining small little muffin cups. I prefer to take mini ones because I feel like it's better for serving size. I'm just gonna line the muffin tin with these. In a small bowl we're gonna stir together crushed almonds, coconut sugar, and coconut oil. And this is gonna be the base for our royal cups. You guys have a great source of healthy fats with this. Once we are done, we're gonna put this as a base. I love making these type of recipes that are sitting in the freezer or in the fridge because I, whenever I feel like uninspired to move on with my day, I just pop one of these in and once we are done with this, we're just gonna take our Activia yogurt. I'm using the plain one. I find it to be my favorite. It has the right amount of tartiness and just a little bit of sweetness. So we are just gonna put this on top of our base. And this is a great source of protein and of some probiotics. Once we are done with this, we're just gonna top it with our berries. So I chose to do strawberries and uh, raspberries, but you can put blueberries, any berries would really work. And you wanna make sure that you use fresh ones. So we are just gonna top these. Damn it! And you can also chop it, especially if you're making the mini cups like I'm making now. Make them for about six hours for them to freeze and then you guys can just take it out and put it probably in a smaller container and whenever you guys want to snack on it I would take it straight from the freezer and maybe give like two to three minutes just to just a little pick me up, a little strawberry looks very romantic okay I'm gonna put them in the freezer barbecue roasted chickpeas. This is an amazing go-to healthy snack. These are crispy, they have amazing amount of protein and fiber, they help to stable blood sugar, they help with making sure that you feel full and you don't overeat, and they give you energy. So if you guys are looking for something, you know, you're bored and you watch TV and you just want to munch on something, these are so amazing to make. So we're gonna start with mixing together paprika, onion powder, brown sugar, I'm gonna get garlic in there, some salt, chili, a touch of pepper. And we're just gonna combine these. So you wanna make sure that our chickpeas are really dry. So what I like to do is just add them to this towel and make sure that there's no moisture. If there's any skins that are falling off, 
take them away because they're gonna ruin the vibe of these crunchy chickpeas then we're gonna dry them and make sure we take most of the moisture out because we want to make sure that they're gonna be crunchy it feels so nice once we did the best job we could we're trying to get them dry we're gonna transfer them to a bowl Okay, once we move them to a bowl, we're gonna toss them with the olive oil and about three quarters of the spice that we made. Is this three quarters? I don't know. And we're just gonna mix them. We're gonna spread them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven for about 20 minutes, then take them out, toss it a little bit, and put them in again for 15 more minutes. Once they are done, finish it with just putting the rest of the spice on them just to give it a little more barbecue taste. So after 20 minutes, we took these chickpeas out. I just want to toss them a little bit around and then we're gonna pop them in for another about 15 minutes. You can add some more spice to them make sure they're really barbecue-ish. That's it, they're ready to go in for another 50. And our last but not least are these hemp seeds and oatmeal no-bake cookies. These are such a yummy cookie option and you don't have to make it. We're gonna actually combine it all in a pot. So we're gonna start by adding almond milk, coconut sugar, coconut oil, cow cow powder, and we're gonna put it on the fire. We wanna make sure that all the ingredients combine and the coconut sugar is completely dissolved. So once we ensure that everything is mixed well, we're gonna stir in the vanilla, almond butter. We're gonna get our rolled oats in here and we're gonna add the ham seeds. And ham seeds are a superfood in this recipe. They are so great for your skin, for your nails. They have essential fatty acids. They help with weight loss. They help with just giving you energy. All the good stuff that we want. So we wanna make sure that they are fully combined, especially that almond butter. So with me, I like making snacks that have a great source of protein and good fats and healthy carbs that you know you're taking one serving and you feel like it's enough I know that it's a weird thing to say especially when it comes to chocolate but these are loaded with so much goodness that trust me it will be enough and if it's not then stop yourself okay one is enough once this whole mixture is combined all we're gonna do is grab a spoon and just put it on the baking sheet on parchment paper and just make the size of a cookie that you would like. So once we have them all in our baking sheet, we're just gonna place them in the freezer for about two hours and see what we got. Okay guys, so this is it. These are my top three yummy, healthy snacks for you. Let me know if you're gonna try them out and how you like them. If you guys wanna learn more about the Activia challenge that I took, I'm gonna put more information in the description box and you can learn more about it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you drooled and are ready to get some yummy healthy treats in your life.